I'm going to be showing you the Chi Air Spin Curl and how the curls look like using this guy. I'm going to go over the instructions and how it works, the pros, the cons, and on one side of my head, I'm going to be doing it at a lower temperature, and on the other side of my head, I'm going to be doing it at a higher temperature so you can see what the curls look like. I prep my hair with two thermal products. I put the Chi Argan Oil into my hair first, then I spray the thermal spray. Use a brush to distribute the products. I section my hair to get it ready to curl. Instructions. With the Chi Air Spin Curl, it has different features like 410 max temperature setting, dual buttons to control the curls, time setting, auto shut off, dual voltage, long extension cord and a cleaning tool. I'll show you how to clean the iron at the end of this video. It also comes with instructions. Decide how long you want your hair in the tool for. It has an option between 15 to 19 seconds. Press the power button, then M button, and press the plus or minus button to select the time. After the time has been selected, then it's going to transition to the temperature without you clicking on anything. Select the temperature. My left side, I'm curling it at 350 degrees, and my right side, I'm curling it at 410 degrees. This is what the manufacturer suggested. These two buttons, you get to decide which direction you want your hair to rotate, to the left or to the right. It's great if you want to alternate your curls or curl away from your face. It only takes 10 to 20 seconds for the curling iron to get to temperature, so that's pretty awesome. On the iron, it says this side towards head is where you want to place it on your head when you're curling your hair. Take an inch section. This V area is where you want to slide your hair into then press the button towards the direction you want to curl your hair. The spinning will stop after a few seconds and you just have to hold your hair in place until the time is up. It will beep when it's time to take your hair out of the iron. On the instruction, it says to hold the iron at a 90 degree angle while curling your hair, but I don't do that. I try to get the iron as close to the scalp. I'm going to curl the rest of my hair and see how this turns out. While I'm curling my hair, I'm going to go over the pearls really quick. The curling iron is great because the exterior doesn't get hot, it feels warm, but it won't burn you. I thought with my short hair it wouldn't curl as great, but it does a pretty good job. If you have a hard time using a curling iron, have arthritis, or carpal, then this is absolutely a great option. It's also great if you want kid-friendly curling iron. This curling iron is actually my cousin's, but he had me help him look for a curling iron that can't burn his girls. If my daughter was smaller and just barely learning how to curl her hair, I definitely would have purchased this one for sure. Cons. It's kind of heavy, so just make sure you don't drop it. It takes a long time to curl your hair because you only can grab an inch section when curling your hair and you have to hold it in the curling iron for 15 to 19 seconds. With my regular curling iron, I grab large sections and hold it in the curling iron for 5 to 8 seconds. I sometimes curl my hair where I leave an inch to an inch and a half out of the curling iron to get that beach wavy look. Well, you can't do that with this curling iron. My nieces have long hair and they said that it doesn't curl the ends of their hair really well. A cool and safety feature on this curling iron is if you grab too much hair, the iron will stop, turn off, and start beeping like crazy. If that happens, take out your hair out of the iron, press the power button, and start again. This is what it looks like without separating. I'm going to start separating my hair. Make sure your hair cools down before separating. Remember, my left side, I curl it at 350 degrees so it looks more like a wave. And my right side, the temperature was at 410 degrees and that's why it looks super curly. I finish off with the bio silk and the cheese spray wax and here is what it looks like
My daughter has medium length hair and I'm going to quickly curl her hair so you can see what it looks like on her length. This is what it looks like without separating. And this is what it looks like separating her curls. And of course, I'm finishing off with a little bit of product. And here is what it looks like. How to clean. The concave side of the cleaning tool, you want it towards the barrel of the iron. Slide it into the iron. Turn on the curling iron. Click the left and right rotating button. Repeat a few times. So you just want to go back and forth. Next, take a damp towel to clean the exterior of the iron from any product residue. That is it for this video. If you have any questions for me, comment down below. And if you like what you've seen today and want to see more from me, click the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click that notification as well so you know when I upload my videos. Other than that, have fun, be creative, and I'll see you next week.